Hi, thank you for signing up for Visually. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of just some of the features and show you how easy it is to create beautiful wireframes and prototypes. So to get us started, I'm going to create a new app. And one of the great things about Visually is that it provides thousands of templates for web and mobile applications. So to get an example of this, we're going to look at some of these different screen templates. And you can see that there are all kinds of screens and categories to look through. And not only individual screens, but also complete apps to choose from. So you've got uh, things from consumer focused applications uh, to banking and health. And these are great ways to kind of just spark that innovation instead of starting with just a blank canvas. So why don't we start with a digital banking application? And as you can see, it already comes built with multiple screens. So let's go ahead and use this template. All right. And as you can see, we've got multiple screens for a mobile app already built out. Now let's say that we want to go ahead and uh, perhaps change the text on the button as well as the color on our login screen. So why don't we say, uh, perhaps we want to say, instead of login, we say sign in. And we can also choose to change the color of this to perhaps green and make that stand out a little bit more. And you can see how easy that is to do. Or we can also add all kinds of different elements. Uh, so perhaps we can also just throw in a checkbox. And we can say, remember me. One of the other great things is that we can change the theme for our application and apply it throughout the entire application. So we can go over here to themes. Why don't we take a look at a spring dream and you can see that it has applied this to not only the launch screen, but to the buttons. And we can experiment with different colors and we can see that it's applied throughout the entire application. But let's just stick with what we have right now. So besides elements that provide the, the basic building blocks for creating a UI, we also have templates for perhaps uh, some more advanced features that we want to show in the application. So we have tables and lists, uh, modals. Let me give you an example of another really useful template. So we have our contact list. Well, let's say that we want to make this a little bit more dynamic and interesting to look at. So we have this accordion table where we have a list of people, and we can choose to expand and contract that uh, within that list here in this prototype. So let's show that on our screen in just a matter of a couple steps. So first, let me go ahead and remove the existing ones. And we want to make sure that we show that this is something that's scrollable. And so we'll increase the size of this screen, and then we'll drag this accordion table. And voila, super simple. And one of the great things that Visually does is that it auto-populates new rows. So we want to show that, hey, we've got a long list of contacts. We can just keep on clicking the plus button. And it is auto-populating that with some random images as well as names. Another great feature of Visually are the collaboration features. So looking at this in real time with a peer, uh, but then also working in async mode and leaving comments for each other uh, around certain design elements. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with one of my coworkers. And we see that Steve has opened this board and is reviewing it right now. And so we can see where his mouse is uh, hovering over. And if we're on a Zoom call or a video conference, we don't necessarily have to share screens. We can just follow each other here. Uh, but we can also leave comments for each other. Let's see what he has to say. So let's add a button for PayPal information. And let me reply to him and say, great idea. I'll do that this afternoon. And let's say we're at a point right now that we want to share these screens and collect feedback from uh, perhaps our engineering team uh, or potential beta customers. And so we can create a prototype really, really quickly and easily to show what the app flows will look like. So if we go to prototype mode, let's say that once we have successfully signed in, it's just a matter of dragging the connector from the sign in to the dashboard screen. and Let's say that we want to show the flow for transferring money to someone else. So we're going to look at this transfer button or these row of buttons and connect that to the transfer screen. And that person is going to start searching for Elizabeth Taylor, right? And once they click on Elizabeth, I'm going to take that to the next screen to start entering how much. 
And once I click on done, take them to confirmation screen. And from the confirmation screen, give them the notification screen that the money has been transferred. And then we can take them back to our home dashboard screen. If we go to the play button, so now let's show this flow in action. And one thing that we can do to add some realism is to actually show a device frame around this. So this is an iPhone device frame. And so once we sign in, it's going to take us to our dashboard screen. And now we want to go ahead and transfer money to Elizabeth Taylor, uh, the amount of $150. And notice if there's an action you can do, that mouse icon is going to change. And so now we have the confirmation button and now the success screen. So we've successfully transferred $150, and now we can go back to our home screen, which is that dashboard screen. So you can see creating prototypes from wireframes is literally just a matter of a couple of clicks and takes under a minute. So now let me show you two really cool features in Visually utilizing AI. And the first one is screenshot to design. So let's say that there is a screen or an app that you really like using and that you want to draw inspiration from. So all you do is just take a screenshot of that, and then Visually will automatically turn those into design elements uh, within your Visually board. So let's just say that within Expensify, we really like what they're doing around this, uh, this chat and this conversation around, uh, around receipts. So what we can do with the Visually Chrome extension is that we can crop and capture this right here. We're going to use this screenshot. And then back within our board, we're going to turn this into an editable wireframe and import it into Visually. And as we can see, Visually has done a pretty great job of creating design elements out of that screenshot. We've got individual elements, text, and uh, layout and buttons that we can easily customize into our existing application. So that's pretty cool. Now, this last feature is text to design. And we just released a new feature called auto prototyping. So this is pretty cool. So just from a text prompt, you can create an application with several screens, and then it'll auto connect all of the different flows together uh, from different buttons to different screens. So let's try that out. So we're going to start with AI text to design. Now we're going to do this in a mobile app. And let's say, create a oops, account. But continue. All right. So it's describing each of the screens that it's going to generate. Let's just go ahead and use the default theme. And there we go. It just created five screens for us. So let's go ahead and open the board. You can see that it not only has it designed the screens, but it's already implemented the prototypes and the, and the app flow from getting started to creating an account to the home screen. And then you notice that we have this navigation along the bottom from we get to the account screens. So let's get started. We're creating an account, now our home screen. So let's click on accounts and taking us to Kirkland White. Uh, the back button is functional, back to the home screen. And now we're in documents. So that's pretty cool. Five screens generated in about a minute with auto prototyping built in and really just building all this from a text prompt of about a dozen words. So this is pretty cool and you should check it out. All right.